illustrative examples. Give an example of monotonic increasing sequence which is convergent and which is divergent. In the first part, let's look at the convergence series. So let's consider the sequence 1.2. So as we know that it is given that sequence is monotonically increasing. So we have to determine any particular sequence which is also increasing and it must be a bounded to become uh, to become it to be convergent. We know that using the theorems. So let's imagine the this kind of sequence. 1 by 2, 2 by 3 and which is also increasing. We know that 2 by 3 minus 1 by 2 is something else. Uh, 2 by 3 is in reality indicates 0 0.66 and 1 by 2 is 0 0.5 and up to so on. So as in n approaches to infinity, we will get an uh, limit of a n as by dividing numerator by n and denominator by n, we will get 1 upon 1 plus n plus 1. So by n, n approaches to infinity in the denominator, we will get 1 upon 0 plus 1. In the numerator, we will get only 1 and in the denominator, we will get 0 plus 1. So as whole, we will get limit as e equals to 1, So which is a finite. So it is a convergent sequence. Now consider the sequence 1 to up to n. So it is obvious it is divergent because it is a monotone increasing function increasing. First of all, we have to determine this particular is its specification, its property that it must be monotonic increasing. So consider the an and the an is n. So limit n as limit n approaches to infinity of n of an, it will gives us limit n approaches to infinity into n equals to infinity. Now consider discuss the boundness of the following sequence. So in this particular question, we have a n equals to 1 plus 1 plus 3 up to so on up to 1 plus 3 over raised to power n, which is also uh, looks like similar as the GP. We know how to compute the geometrical progression in the in the earlier classes, in the school classes. So we're going to compute it using the relate with the geometric progression of this sequence. So its first term is 1 the common ratio is 1 by 3. We're going to write its, its sum up to 1 from 3 plus 4 to power n is 1 into 1 minus 1 upon 3 4 to power n plus 1 because we have n terms up to divided by 1 minus 1 by 3. In the denominator we will get 2 by 3 1 minus 1 by 3 and the denominator we will get 3 by 2 as 3 from the denominator Will, will go up and 2 remains and the denominator of the denominator and into 1 minus 1 upon 3 whole raised to power n plus 1 it will go n plus 1 is only goes to 3 raised to power n plus 1 as 1 becomes 1 so after it we go to multiply both of these we will get 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 upon in, into 1 upon 3 whole raised to power n it seems that the second term in this 1, 1 by 2 into 1 upon 3 raised to power n cannot be negative and it cannot be it can exceed up to it can go up to uh, it cannot be less than 0 so the maximum value if it is not less than 0 so it must be a second term it should not becomes minus so we will not get maximum of 3 by 2 of a n so a n cannot exceed 3 by 2 for any n value and also n is also greater than 1 as first term of a n is 1 and other terms are positive so it 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 always be greater than 1 and it always be less than 3 by 2 so it is bounded so first is bounded and let's look at the th second one now a n cannot exceed but 1 because for any n belongs to natural numbers 2 n plus 3 is always less than 3 n plus 4 so as we look at this particular uh, it is obvious that 2 n plus 3 for any natural numbers is always less than 3 n plus 4 so it must be less than 1 and also it cannot both nominator and denominator will get positive value for any n natural number so it will always increase uh, bounded below by 0 so it must be 
a n should must be like this means 0 and 1 for any net n belongs to natural numbers therefore a n is our boundary sequence now let's look at the third question discuss the convergence of the sequence a n first is n plus 1 upon n here a n is n plus 1 upon n which is 1 plus 1 by n now a n plus 1 minus a n minus 1 first of all we have to look whether uh, using theorems we will easily get our quotients if it is an increasing function then we will check if it is a bounded below or bounded above and we will compute its it is it must be uh, it must be convergent or decreasing uh, or divergent for example if it is increasing sequence it must be bounded above in order to make it convergent if it is not bounded above as we see in the theorems it is increasing and it is not bounded above it must be divergent first of all we will check its monotonicity in order to check monotonicity we will uh, take the difference between any two terms if it comes out to be positive so here we have seen that uh, the by solving this we will get 1 plus 1 upon 1 uh, this is this is 1 plus 1 upon n plus 1 minus 1 upon 1 by n which is which will gives us 1 and 1 will, will become cancelled and we will get 1 upon 1 plus n minus 1 1 upon n so we will get n into n plus 1 as our denominator and in the numerator side we will get n minus 1 plus n which will give us minus 1 upon n into n plus 1 in the denominator so which obvious out any value of n natural uh, natural number we will get minus it means that it is a decreasing sequence sequence now a n is a decreasing sequence we know that so we're going to further look at its bounded below or bounded above so we know that so n plus 1 is always greater than n for any natural number it is obvious so it must be greater than 1 so it is a bounded below so it must be always greater than 1 so it means the below is uh, bounded and above it can it can go up to any any value so that's it uh, and we will it, it it must be bounded below by 1 so we don't if it is decreasing then uh, why uh, we have to just determine it is a bounded below or bounded above so it is a bounded blow and also decreasing so it means it should be convergent because if it is a decreasing and below it is a bounded so it cannot go up, go up to that below point that bounded point it cannot decrease more than that particular bound below so it it must be convergent so it cannot diverge up to minus infinity or if it is increasing it cannot go to plus infinity so that's it now limit n approaches to infinity we will solve it using computing uh, either it's a convergent or not so as we look at n approaches to infinity of a n we will get its value as 1 so which is obvious that 1 plus 1 plus 1 upon infinity which is gives us 1 so it is a obvious that it's a finite answer so it is convergent to 1 so that's it now let's look at the second one we have to again discuss the convergence of second one so here first of all we have to check the same case as in the earlier we have to check its monotonicity so a n plus 1 is n plus 1 upon n plus 1 whole square plus 1 minus n upon n square plus 1 now we are going to compute it n square plus we are going to take its LCM n square plus 1 into n plus 1 minus n into n square plus uh, that is it is equal to n plus 1 the whole square plus 1 divided by whole divided by in the denominator it is denominator n square plus 2n plus 2 into n square plus 1 here we have to know that uh, we will get our value as minus n square minus n plus 1 upon n square plus 2n plus 2 in the denominator also n square plus 1 so which is obvious for any value of n we will get its it is a decreasing function decreasing sequence it seems obvious here because uh, this is a quadratic sequence it's uh, if we look at the quadratic function if you know that 
quadratic function very well you will get that its vertex is its vertex should be equals to minus 1 by 1 by 2 and it must be here this sign indicate it must be below so it must be bounded above and the whole curve should be below so it diverges to below so uh, so it should always be less than uh, always be less than minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 so it must be less than 0 so it you can also see in another way so it is a decreasing sequence for putting any values of n up to natural numbers whole natural numbers also an is equal to this n upon n square plus 1 which is greater than 0 so it must be bounded below by 0 so it is a uh, we know that it is a bounded below and it is a decreasing sequence so it must be convergent so it's the same case as in the previous question so i hope you enjoy my lecture so this is the uh, mathematical approach to find it so you can also find this uh, using this approach as n approach to infinity uh, we're going to uh, put the a n equals to n upon n square plus one and just divide the whole a nominator and denominator by n square we will get 1 upon n in the denominator divided by 1 plus 1 plus n 1 upon n square as an n approach community we will get 0 upon 1 plus 0 which is 0 so this is a final answer so that's all about uh, now third question is your homework and don't forget to mention your answer in the comment box and it's a similar question as we have looked in the previous slides of checking its boundness or not. You have to determine its whether its monotonicity and computed using theorems. So that's all about today. I, I hope you enjoy my content and please don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Till then keep learning and keep exploring. And as always, feel to email me at dsvfx6789 at gmail.com. 